In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the BlueCube application onto your Freetronics Cube. So to start with, I'm going to go to the BlueCube website and to the install page. All of the instructions that I'm going to show you today in this video are located on this install page if you get stuck. Now, I'm going to assume you don't have the Arduino IDE installed. If you do, you can skip the, the install stage for it. But to start with, we're going to go to the download page and we'll allow this to load. And when the Arduino page comes up, we'll go the Windows Installer option. So I'll click on that. We'll scroll down and we'll go just download. Now, while that's downloading, we'll also download a few other components that are needed. So we'll go back to the BlueCube page. Now, while not directly needed, the Freetronics board profile I find is handy. So we'll click on the link here to download it. We'll give it a moment to flick through. And we'll also get a driver. Now, on Windows 10, the driver is not specifically required but I find it helps identify the cube, so we'll also download that as well. Now, while that's downloading, we'll also go to our downloads page, and we need to get the BlueCube application and associated libraries. So we'll click to download the BlueCube app, and we'll also grab the Cube4 library. Now, if you've already got the Freetronics Cube4 library installed, you actually need to replace it with my version. So we'll click the download link for it. We'll also grab the Cube4 AR Utils library, which is a helper series of functions that are also required. And finally, we'll get the Adafruit Bluefruit Bluetooth library. So when we click on the download link for that, it'll actually take us to the GitHub page for the latest release of that library. And you can just click the source code zip link. So, We'll download that, and while that's downloading, you should also grab a copy of the BlueCube application for your mobile device. It's available for uh, iPhones and iPads through the App Store, or for your Android phone or tablet through the Google Play Store. You can either use either of these links, or you can search for BlueCube through both of the App Stores. So the downloads are just about finished and we'll just go to view those. So we'll just double check we've got everything. So we've got the Arduino IDE, we've got the board profile, we've got the USB driver, we've got the BlueCube app, and we've got the three libraries, the Cube4 library, the Cube4 AR utils library, and the Bluefruit Bluetooth library. So we'll open those and we'll start installing them. As I said, just to refresh, the install instructions are available on the install page, but I'm going to demonstrate them for you now. So we'll start by installing the IDE by double clicking on its installer. We'll uh, allow it to be installed. I agree. Accept the default options by next, accept the default install and click install. We'll just give this a moment to run. Now the install would uh, wants to install a couple of USB drivers, so we will allow that to happen. So we'll go install, and there's the second driver, so we'll install that as well. And the Arduino IDE is now completely installed, so we can close the installer. And we'll actually start it by the icon that it's added to the desktop. Now it's important for us to know where the default sketchbook location is. So within the IDE, we can go to files, and preferences. If you get the firewall blocking, it's up to you if you wish to allow it to uh, talk out to the, the world. Um, I'll allow it in this case. And then just to get back to that sketchbook location, we go to File and Preferences. And this sketchbook location is what we're looking for. So in this case, it's in the Users folder, Adam Reed, which is my username on this machine, Documents and Arduino. So we'll remember that and we'll click OK and we can close the IDE. So 
I'll actually now start by going to my documents folder and we'll see the actual Arduino IDE folder is there. So within it there's a library folder. So we're going to start by installing the uh, Leo Stick board profile. So that requires that we create a new folder called hardware. So let's go and do that. And then what we need to do is let's just open a new file explorer window. We'll go back to our downloads. So what we need to do is uh, extract the board profile. So I'll just right click and extract all. Set the default. Here's the folder for it. What we want to make sure is we've got this folder that contains the files. We'll rename it by getting rid of the master. And then what we'll do is we'll just drag it into that hardware folder that was created. Now we should be able to go to hardware, Leo stick, and there's the hardware profile. Now while we're on the hardware, we'll also do the driver. So I'll just extract it and again accept the defaults. And then what we should do with the driver is that we'll just right click on the uh, setup information file, this v2 uh, 2 underscore 2 file, and we'll click install. It'll ask us whether we want to do that and we'll click open and yes we'll allow it and that will ask whether we'd like to install the Freetronics uh, device software which we do so we'll click install. That's now been successfully completed so we can close that. So now what we need to do is install the three libraries that we had. So I'll start with the cube4 library. Again we'll extract it once it's extracted, I'm just going to rename it and get rid of the version number at the end. And then I'm going to move that folder into the libraries folder that we had um, previously. So we'll move that in there and then we can close this. Um, if I go back and have a look, it should just have the, the library files directly in it. Um, just make sure when you're doing this on a Windows machine that you're actually moving the folder that has the library files located within it, not just another subfolder. So we've done cube4, we'll do arutils next. Again, we will rename and then move that in. And finally, we will do the Bluefruit library, so extract again, done, rename, and then move that folder. The final folder we want to, to do now is the blue cube folder. So we'll extract it. Now while it's extracting, we can actually install it wherever we'd like. So we could put it in the Arduino folder, but I like including it in just my documents folder. So we'll find that. We'll let this finish. And I'll do the same that we've done with the rest. So I'm going to rename that to just Bluecube, removing the version, and I'm going to move it into the documents folder. Now we need to load the Bluecube stitch. So to do that, we'll go into the Bluecube folder, we'll go into the Arduino Bluecube, and then we'll double click on the Bluecube Arduino sketch file. This will load the Arduino IDE. And what we can do at the moment is we can check that the board profile's installed by going to Tools Board. And you should notice down the bottom that we now have the Freetronics Leo stick that we can select. So we'll select that and then we'll click the verify button. Now this will compile the sketch. You should get no errors during this. If you get warnings you can ignore those but otherwise you should get a done complete, a done compiling option. 
If you get an error, you can check that the sketches have been in, uh, the libraries, sorry, have been installed by clicking on Sketch, Include Libraries, Manage Libraries, and when this loads, we can change the type to Installed, and then we can just search. So we'll go Cube. There's our two Cube libraries, and we can also look for the Bluetooth library, which is there. If any of those are missing, that's potentially what your issue is. So we'll just close that. We're now ready to upload the sketch to our cube. So to do that we'll go make sure we select the cube and then you can click the upload button. That'll upload the sketch to the cube. From there you can load the Blue Cube application on your mobile device and connect and you should be operational. Thank you for watching this tutorial.